So today I'm at a um, pool that has an ozonator. That's this box up here. And it has, it produces ozone, which is a, a gas, and it comes out of this little tube, goes through this black line, and is injected right down here into this pipe. This pipe connects to these suction lines, and that's why we see all the air in the basket right now, because it's pulling ozone in the suction side. If I unscrew this, and put my finger over that, the, the air should go away and the pump should run a lot better. So that's the plan today, is we're going to move this ozonator to the return side so the pump can run quieter without having all the air in it. We see now that the pump is running a lot better than it was when I got here. And all I did was plug up this the suction port for the ozonator with my finger. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move the, the ozone injection from the suction side to the return side. Okay, this is the afterward. We've changed the placement of the ozonator. You see right up here we have a Venturi system and the ozone injection is going right in here. If we follow the pipe down, this is the return valve and it goes directly back to the pool and spa so there's no no way that the ozone can get into the pump or the filter. So we're not going to have the filter build up air inside anymore. We're not going to bleed the air out near as often. And you see the pump is much quieter and we don't have all the air bubbles inside the pump. So this is a, it's a better way to install an ozonator. I guess some people don't do it because it's a little more expensive because the uh, Venturi there is, is a little pricey. But it works a lot better. It's better for the pump, better for the suction, quieter, and it puts the ozone back in the pool where you want it to be, rather than in the filter.